Glory be to God. This is Prophet Joel of the CSJ Maranatha Ministry. I want to welcome all the viewers that you're about to watch this program of the message that you're about to listen to. I thank God for this opportunity and for this platform that the Lord has made available for me to share with you the word of the living God. And I believe this word that you're about to listen will transform and change your life for good. And uh, I invite you to invite someone also to listen to you this word of God because it's life changing. Because God is about to do something glorious into your life. And I believe your life will never be the same again. So tune in and the Lord shall bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, thank you for honoring God's word. The word of God said what? One, two, two, let's go. Let's read it. Present Please. your case, says the Lord. Set forth your arguments, says Jacob's king. Bring, Bring in, in your, your idol to tell us what is going to happen. happen. Tell us the what things the former things were, so that we may consider them and know their final outcome or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what the future holds, so that we may know that you are God. Say God. God. Do something, whether good or bad, so that we will be dismayed and filled with fear. Say fear. Wonderful. Father, we thank you for your word. And we pray that your word shall go forth with power and life and deliverance. We break loose every burden. We break loose every heaviness on God's people. And Spirit of God, minister to them. And take charge and reveal yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Make sure you sit on your enemies. Thank you. Amen. I am blessed to stand today on the 1st of September. To release a fruitful grace. Today I just need you to be powerfully connected. Because you might wait for the ministration, but the Lord will already moving through the word of God. Prophet Isaiah was a serious major prophet. And he was prophesying concerning the people of Israel. Because the Israel people, they start worshipping idol instead of worshipping the God of Israel. And it came to the attention of Prophet Isaiah, why are you guys worshipping the things that men have created with their hands? And he said, Nakasema. if that things you are calling is a God, Kama icho ni mungu, then let him speak the past Wacha nene yaliopita, and let him also speak the future. Na nene ajayo. That's amazing. Ajabu. The idol that you are worshipping if he's a great God, let him speak the past and let him speak the future. It's a future. If he's able to speak the past, if he's able to speak the future, and if he's able to create events, bad or good then that makes him a God we are gloriously receiving something today and I want you to put you all attention on this word today just pay all your attention I'm asking you today really understand so there are rains kuna viwango and there are people na kuna watu because of their positions sababu ya 
mahali walipo you understand why i say positions viwango nikisema viwango because of their positions sababu ya kiwango walipo they can call themselves wanaweza wakajiita gods miungu right kweli because of their positions sababu ya mahali pao they can call themselves wanaweza wakajiita miungu why sababu gani because of the abilities sababu ya uwezo of the supernatural ya unaozidi kiungu that is taking place in their life ambao unatawala katika maisha yao So an idol kwa hivyo miungu is not capable to speak hana uwezo kunena an idol miungu is not capable to move hawezi tembea but the person who created it lakini wale yumba is capable to move it anaweza kuisongesha but lakini the idol cannot tell lakini ule miungu aweza kusema what took place in the past kilichotokea nyuma and what will take place in the future kitakachokuja kutokea so there are some people who are second positions kuna watu wamechukua sehemu fulani in the places where when they come mahali ambapo wakija they are called gods wanaitwa miungu why sababu gani the bible says biblia inasema jesus christ came yesu kristo akaja and he announced na akatangaza he said whomsoever kwamba yeyote or whatsoever au chochote that is from above ambacho kimetoka juu is above all kiko juu ya yote say above all sema juu ya yote whatsoever chochote and whomsoever na yeyote is from above atokaye juu is above all yuko juu ya yote okay jesus is the son of god yesu ni mwana wa mungu We are worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. Na mwabudu Yesu Kristo. And the appearance of Jesus Christ announced to us. Na kutokea kwake kutangaza. That whomsoever. I'm talking yeyote. about whomsoever. Yeyote. That's been everyone. Kila mmoja. Everyone. Kila mmoja. That is from above. Ambaye ametoka juu. Is above all. Yuko juu ya yote. So what Jesus did? Yesu aliyofanya. He announced a spiritual law. Alitangaza kanuni ya kiroho. That as long as you can come from above. Kwamba ukitoka juu, you be above all. Utakuwa juu ya yote. So we are talking about dominion here. Tunazungumzia ma- We are talking about authority. Na mamlaka. We are talking about taking over. Kuchukua mamlaka. And whomsoever that is above. Na yote ambaye yuko juu, is God. Ni Mungu. Are we all together? Tuko pamoja. Are we all together? Tuko pamoja. So as long as you are from above, kama umetoka juu, you are above all. We upo juu ya yote. Everyone will look unto you. Na kila mtu atakutazamia. Because you are above. Sababu uko juu. The things that took place in the past tokea nyuma and the things that And since you are from above, na kama umetoka juu, you are to announce to us basi tutangazie the things that took place in the past yaliyotokea nyuma and the things that took place na mbayo that will take place in the future. Yatakuja kutokea. Tell your neighbor you'll see where I'm coming from. Bejirani yako utaona mahali mimi nimetoka. Ha. So when Jesus spoke that, Yesu aliponena haya. People did not understand what he was talking about. Watu hawakuelewa. But he say I, lakini akasema mimi, I am from the Father. Nimetoka kwa Baba. The God and the Father of all lights. Mungu na Baba ni Father yote. of all spirits. Mungu wa roho zote. So that's been where Jesus came from. Mali Yesu alitoka. Is from above. Ni kutoka juu. And since na kwa, kwa he came yote. from above. Alitoka juu. Him coming to the earth. Yeye kuja hapa duniani. He was to be worshiped. Lazima angeabudiwa. He was to be feared. Lazima angeogopewa. Because he created events. Sababu aliumba mambo. That brought fear. Ambayo ilete woga. In the eyes of men. Katika macho ya binadamu. And that what makes him to be God. Na ndio inamfanya awe Mungu. He spoke the things that was from the past. Alinena yaliyopita. And he spoke the things that will take place in the future. Na pia mambo yatakayokuja kutokea. Don't lose me. Tusipotee. Him coming down. Yeye kuja hapa duniani. Made him ikamfanya people to look unto him. Watu wamtazamie because he was from above. Sababu alikuwa ametoka juu. What am I talking about? Ninazungumzia kitu gani leo? There are people kuna watu that are today called presidents ambao wanaitwa wa marais kings au wafalme prince au manabii or those who are making great decisions wale wanafanya maamuzi and which the world and the nation that are supposed to follow and to 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 grab the decision and to follow it ambao dunia inafaa iwafikize kufuata 
those people Watu wale, with their name na kwa wale majina yao here on earth hapa duniani, they have another name in the spiritual realm katika ulimwengu wa kiroho what do i mean the bible says biblia sema that daniel was praying daniel aliomba daniel chapter 10 verse 1 if you read it daniel 10 Daniel was praying Daniel and while he was praying God already released a helper and that helper was Archangel Gabriel say Gabriel and when Gabriel was released the Bible says that Gabriel was arrested say arrested Gabriel was arrested in the second heaven where the kingdom of Satan dwells hmm? are you understanding that? Yes. is it a bit low? Can I move faster? Can I move gloriously? It's okay. So, where the kingdom of Satan dwell, when he was coming down with power, with a message to give to Daniel, suddenly the powers, which was not even Satan, the Bible said the king of Persia, which dwell in the spiritual realm, arrested Gabriel. This one was not even Satan, but this was a principality. So him coming to Persia to deliver a message to Daniel, he was arrested by the forces of hell. Closed for 21 days where Satan kingdom dwells. And on the earth, there was a man also come called the king of Persia. So all the decision this man was making was not based on the constitution, was not based on what people want, but was based on the one who was dwelling in his heaven. So you got to understand that the nations, the continents and things are not dominated by mere human beings, but they are dominated by whomsoever is from above. Let me break it down. We have where God dwell. We call it the kingdom of heaven. Are we right? Where the angels of God are. Where Jesus Christ is. Where all the saints are. The kingdom of heaven. And the Bible says when Satan failed. Right? When Satan failed. He failed on the earth. Not in the earth. On the earth. So there is a place where he failed. And when he failed, he did not fail, he did not fall by himself, but he, fa he failed with multitude of angels. Praise the Lord. And they are taken over a place or a space. And from my understanding, when the angel was coming, the angel came from the heavenly place, he crossed the heavenly place and he reached the place where Satan dwelt before the angel to reach where Daniel was, it was a force, first of all, to encounter the devil. So in another word, the devil did not fall totally here on this earth, but he fell on top of the earth. Are you understanding now? So before any help coming from heaven, he has to encounter this man and his kingdom. Hmm. I see your help is coming today. I prophesy your help must come today. Today you are going to understand that family issue. They are not based because you have a misunderstanding. No. There is a spiritual being controlling the family. Oh. You are going to understand that your finances. It's not because the economy of the world. No. There is a spirit being controlling the money you are supposed to have in your hands. As long as he's above you, he will control you. Because you're a slave. The body of a human being is a slave to the spiritual reign. As long as you're not spiritual, you're a slave to those who are spiritual. There is no neutral at all. There is no neutral for human being. You must be connected to a spiritual being. As long as you're not connected to a spiritual being, then you are usable. Anybody can use you. So when we talk about spirituality in the church and people are open their eyes like, is this man okay or what? So that means those people have no understanding of what is spirituality. And therefore, the lack of knowledge of lacking to understand what is spirituality, it's making you to be away from taking over of what God has given you. The world is dominated by the spirituality. Everything is spirituality. Even the earth is swallowed by the spirituality. 
and the above I'm talking about it is not to cross the sky because there are people who went to the moon but they have never seen an angel there are people who went far until mass but they have never encountered even the devil or any principality of the king of Persia so the above that they are talking about it is a spiritual above and I pray today by the grace of God may God bring you to the place where you deserve to be may God give you dominion over your finances may God give you dominion over your family may God give you dominion over the cities territories and places if you believe me say a big man ah, I'm seeing people when you shall walk into nation your feet stepping there it is dominion authority I say it is dominion authority when you step in they know there is someone has come and watch this you are not coming alone you are coming with multitude of angels oh there are people who walk with two angels there are people who walk with one angel but there are some who walk with multitude of angels and i'm announcing to you today may you be the carriers of the multitude of the angels be a carrier of the multitude of the angels in your home in your business in your career say i receive it sit down for a minute watch this so we have the first world which is the world of god we have the second world which is satan kingdom and we have the earthly world which is human world which one is the lowest huh which the earthly reign because man is a fallen land so as long as man fail he became a useless being the one who is to talk with god the one who is all oh, the angels are watching wow this man is spending like quality time with god more than 30 minutes talking fellowshipping I, I, I mean i can picture even they are playing in the garden playing eh? they are playing in the garden with god they are laughing they are having conversation and the angel all of them they're like whoa this is a creature that god created where he can be together in this level with god including lucifer including the darkness kingdom they were watching but this man suddenly he lost it and once he lost it he failed like satan failed he became a useless being my brother sister as long as christ is not in you you are useless as long as god is not back in your life you are useless it doesn't matter what you have it doesn't matter what you carry it doesn't matter the title you have as long as christ is not there you are useless and that's the moment people die like animals and yet they're not supposed to die like animals that's why people get sickness and that sickness can never come out of their body and they die with that sickness because they are dying like animals but the god lives in the supernatural tell them i'm coming i'm coming big with the glory of god so when i come from above as christian we are not coming from the darkness kingdom but we are coming from the kingdom of light i'm going to explain to you you and i we can agree when jesus said that law that whomsoever is from above is above all so including satan hmm? including satan if satan comes in this world is above the world principality including them when they come into a city they are supposed to dominate because they are from above oh hello yes are you understanding me including demons if they come to your family they are supposed to dominate listen don't lose this because this is coming deliverance into your life 
So when a demon comes into your marriage to bring division and you are not spiritual or you are not connected to God, they will fulfill their purpose. Because you are useless. You are an instrument usable for a spiritual being. Now, when we have tribes, we have provinces, we have nations, we have continents, they are all dominated by different sets of authority or principalities. Everyone carry their dimension of authority. Everyone carry their dimension of power. Everyone carry their dimension of manifestation. And what makes them to be principalities and power, it is the events that they create in the continents and nations. It is the empowerment that empower president to make decisions that can take a nation to a different place. That's the reason when you see prophets standing into a place and announcing things and those things are taking place, it is simply they are not positioned in this hour, but they are positioned in the spiritual realm. Are you seeing that? When you see someone in the family where God is going to raise and is going to be announcing things and you see those things coming to plus, that's me. That person has climbed from the physical realm into the spiritual realm. And I'm praying that you are quoting to that place. You are going to be so dangerous that every word that you will be speaking shall carry accomplishments. Say accomplishments. Say accomplishments. So the power of accomplishment is simply on the position you occupy. Where are you positioned? Where are you dwelling? Because the place where you dwell matters and influences the people that are around you. Our warfare are not carnal, but they are what? Mighty and spiritual. Are you understanding that? So that means our warfare is simply manifested into a place whereby we make decrees and we call things to pass and those things come. Are you seeing that? So that means before me to encounter a man in the physical, a man's encounter you first spiritual. Before me to encounter that job, interview, I must not encounter the first of physical, but I have to encounter it spiritually. Because if I can conquer it spiritually, then I can conquer it physically. Ah, am I speaking to someone here? Am I speaking to someone here? If I can conquer that business spiritually, then I can conquer it physically. If I can conquer your sickness spiritually, then I can conquer it in the physical. Are you seeing that? So there are serious demonic manipulation that are taking place in the earth. And then Christians are not understanding. They are supposed to take their position where Christ has given them so they can manifest dominion. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now God, as wise he was, when he created man, the Bible say, he said, let us create man. Okay? Let us create man in our own image. He didn't finish by then. And he said, in our likeness. Are you seeing that? In that way, we are talking about personality and abilities. So God created you in his personality and you carrying his ability. And the next chapter and the next verse, so he said, have dominion and be fruitful. Say fruitfulness. Say fruitfulness. So the ability for you to carry dominion <laughs> say dominion the ability to carry dominion it comes along with fruitfulness so you having the spirit of dominion my God you will be entering any place when the Bible says wherever where your feet shall step you shall have dominion so dominion comes by your ability by your ability to carry the likeness and the image of God so as long as you can enter in the realm where God dwells inside of you, suddenly you enter into dominion realm. Okay? Now, when Jesus Christ came, when Jesus Christ came, he came not just to remove us from sin. Okay? That's why I ask people, why then Jesus came for? Oh no, he came just to remove us from sin so we can enter heaven. No. No, 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 no. No. A thousand times, no. The reason why, even before him to die, he prayed. He said what? Father, I pray that they may stay. Not to go where I'm going now. I pray that they may stay. So that they may occupy. Say occupy. 
so it is a godly image when you can carry dominion in your business and career and everywhere you are it is a mistake when a christian he is not carrying dominion even over his own body commanding sickness to disappear you have lost it it is a mistake when a christian does not have dominion over what men created as money it is wrong for a christian to have no dominion over lands over territory over cities over nation because the bible says all things are yours Katula Mahadikas Katumaza. Ayakunta Maya. I see the glory of God in this place coming. I said, I see the glory of God coming. Well, to God be the glory. I believe the message has been a blessing to your life, and I believe God has brought a lot of insight into your life. And I believe surely God has done something amazing in your life. But I want you to be a part of this wonderful move that God is doing in our midst. And you might be there, touched by God. You have listened to this word of God. I believe this word is yours. Don't wait to call. There are numbers there. Call us. Come. If you want to encounter God, come and God shall touch you. Is there any problem that you're encountering? Be it in your business, be it in your finances, be it in your marriage, be it in your ministry, in any area. There is a God I serve and is a living God. He's about to change your life and touch you for good. We are, locate, we are located in Likoni Road on Road A. Of Likoni Road on Road A. We are here on the services of Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And the Lord is going to bless you abundantly. All the services are just there, figury in front of you there. Please call us and be a part of this blessing. And the Lord is going to do amazing things in your life. May God bless you. And I believe this blessing shall be permanent into your life.